All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how I cold call. Um, as I go through this, I'm gonna show you kind of what's going on, how I think about things, uh, my perspective, my approach, uh, how I kind of flow through the conversation, my call to action, uh, all of these beautiful things. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Um, this shouldn't be something that should make you feel super stressed. If you do this right, you should feel like you're having a regular conversation with somebody. And then, you know, you're just basically asking them if you can help. And if you can, let's, let me send you some information or let's book a demo, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and attack. This is my second time recording this. So mind you, the first one I did was really, really good. I'm going to do this again. Hopefully, you know, the turnout is just as good. I mean, usually it is. I don't do many, many calls to get a great result. So I'm going to just run through. I'm going to start today in Miami this time. As you can see, I'm on Google. I just typed in Implant Dentist Miami, and what I usually do is I go to View All, and I just basically uh, just come in here and, and look at these um, and just kind of scope these out. And what I like to do usually uh, when I'm cold calling is, you see like this one right here, the Gallardo, that 498, like they've got way too many reviews. Usually, the amount of reviews is equivalent to their ego, right? So if they have 498 reviews, they have 498 ego problems, right? Because they think that they're the hot shot, they're the hot shit, right? Which usually they're not. Um, but because of that, you know how the world revolves around today. It's just usually what they think. So uh, I'll start. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I called the other day. Um, I don't have my notepad, but uh, hopefully I already called this guy. Actually, you know what? Let me let me switch over to somewhere else because I already called Miami when I did the other recording. I'm going to go to Doral. I'm going to these locations because I know these locations is where I moved from. I live in Colorado now. I've called a lot of Colorado and I have appointments with Colorado, so I'm just switching it up. Uh, all right, so we have Doral Sedation and Family Dentistry. Uh, let me see. These don't really say they have. Let me see if these have implants. Usually it would say it, but let me just see. Surgical Invisalign. Dental implants, okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a call. Oops. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is use a cell phone to do this. You don't have to have any fancy tools. You click on the listing like this, and then you click the dial pad, and you start dialing. It's just that easy. Okay, so here's the first one. This is Doral Sedation and Family Dentistry. Here we go. This call may be recorded for See how many calls I have to do before I can get a demo or an appointment or someone interested. Hello, Ashley. Can I speak with your uh, new patient coordinator, please? May I ask who's calling? Yeah, my name is Angel. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually, um, are you the new patient coordinator? Um, if you're calling to schedule an appointment as a new patient, I can go ahead and help you. For sure, but usually, um, so I'm not a patient. Uh, I usually like talking to the new patient coordinator because she's the one who can usually help me with, with this request. But basically what it is, I'll, help, I'll, I'll let you know and then you can guide me whichever direction you think is best. But I'm calling because we specialize in working with practices similar to yours. Uh, and we specialize in dental implant patients, and we were wondering if you guys were accepting new patients. If you are, who would be the best person to speak to about uh, bringing you guys more new new implant patients? Give me one second to transfer your call. No problem. So, I mean, you saw how I rerouted that. Their phone system sucks, though. Okay, so she's currently in a meeting, but I can give you the email for the 
office and you can email any information over to them and then they'll get back to you. Yeah, for sure. No problem. What's the, the person that I'd be directing the email to? Jenny. Jenny. Okay, and she's the, what is her role at the, at the practice? She's the treatment coordinator and patient coordinator. Alrighty. And yeah, whenever you're ready, can you just give me that email, the best email for you guys? Yeah, it's going to be Gables with an S at the end. Okay. Sedation at gmail.com. At gmail.com. So Gables, G-A-B-L-E-S, sedation, S-E-D-A-T-I-O-N, at gmail. Perfect. Beautiful. And your name? Ashley. Awesome, Ashley. Well, what I'm going to do, Ashley, is I'm going to send over an email and then uh, when do you think, when is she like less busy so I can just kind of follow up to see if she got the email and all that stuff? Um, I mean, she's pretty busy all day, but... Um, do you find that she's less busier like after lunch, like around one thirty, or like before she leaves, like around 4.30? What do you think? It really depends on the day, like how her schedule is, uh -huh. but she'll get back to you soon. She okay. leave early today. So maybe on Monday. Okay, no problem. Well, I'll go ahead. Just leave a note there that I'm going to leave a, an email for her, Ashley. Okay. And then uh, I'll actually put you in the email as well just so that you're, you know who I am and that we spoke and all that cool stuff. And then uh, we'll go from there. How about that? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so, you know, the outcomes here can be one of three things. So the first outcome is, no, I'm not interested. Hang up. Don't call me again. Obviously, that's the one outcome that we all hate, but that's the one that's bound to happen when you're cold calling. The second outcome is the one you just heard. She's busy. Uh, send me some information via email. She'll follow up if she's interested. Believe it or not, this has been the one, like, I mean, so this method right here, like the send me information method, has been 100% conversion rate so far. So the email I send, uh, you know, enc you know, encompasses everything that we do and how we do it. And what makes us different and all that cool stuff. And then at the end, it says, if you like what you see and you like what you hear, you know, let me know and we'll coordinate a time to talk. So you guys have that email. I sent that over to you guys. And then basically you send that email. They will reply back with a good time. As she saw and she said, you know, potentially Monday. So I'll send the email today here in a bit. And then potentially you might have a demo scheduled for Monday where we'll go through that whole presentation. So I think that was a pretty good call. As you saw how I started. She was a little uh, like, who the heck are you? I, I forgot to mention my name. I mean, it was my first call. But as you saw, it really doesn't matter. As long as you know how to like maneuver the conversation, it doesn't really matter what you don't do as long as you know what you need to do to fix it, right? So uh, that's I would say that's a good call. I would say you know there's a potential there. I mean, she wouldn't have gone through that process if she knew that they um, didn't need any new implant patients, right? So... Uh, I'm going to continue here. I'm going to make a few more calls just so you can get some examples of, of different scenarios. And then uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. So here we go. I'm going to call Dr. Teresa. So 305-4477-5299. I'm going to soften it up a bit this time, watch. And this is something you could do too. You just add your own flavor to it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I give you a framework. Hello, and thank you for calling the Doral Park Dental Center of Dr. Teresa Bello Burgos. Our staff is currently attending to other patients or the office is currently closed. As a reminder, our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. At the tone, please leave a detailed message with your name and number and we will contact you as soon as possible. Have a blessed day. Please leave a message after the tone. I'm going to leave a message. Hello, good morning. My name is Angel. I'm actually calling to speak to your new patient coordinator as I am looking to work with a implant dental practice like yours uh, to generate specifically implant patients. We work with practices very similar to yours and getting fantastic results. 
and we would love to know if you guys are accepting new implant patients. And if you are, we'd love to have a conversation with the right person in your practice to talk about our system and show you a demo. That way you can see if it's a good fit or not, and then we can go from there. So my name is Angel. My phone number is 954-990-3516. Once again, the number is 954-990-3516. I would love to hear back from you and uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. So that's a message, a great message that you can leave. I don't have that templatized. I just made that up, but you get the idea. Obviously, I'm once again repeating who I am, why I'm calling, why they should respond to me, how they get back in contact with me, and that's basically it. So just going to keep moving on uh, to this one here. I smile. So let's do this one more. Let's do this here. 305-620. 8272. Here we go. I really hope this is recording, honestly. I really do. I smiled at that office. Hello, my name is Angel. Hello. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with this morning? Okay. Um, my name is Cindy. Oh, nice to meet you, Cindy. Um, so I was just giving you a call, Cindy, because I was wondering if you could transfer me over to your new patient coordinator. So, yeah, I was just calling because, Cindy, I was wondering if you can transfer me over to your new patient coordinator, basically the the person in your practice that handles new patients. Is that your, is that yourself or is that someone else? No, who's calling? Where, uh, from where? My name is Angel, and we specialize in working with practices like yours uh, by helping them um, generate specifically implant patients. So we're calling to see if you guys are accepting implant patients, and if you are... I would love to talk to the right person to see if we can schedule a demo to show you what we do okay, and how we you, do it. Okay, the person in charge is uh, he's not here today. Oh, is it he's that here, is is that the doctor or is that a marketing manager or who is that? No, that's the manager. The manager, okay. Um, what was his name? Andy. Andy, awesome. And and Cindy, when do you do you think uh, I should just give him a call back? You think that would be better, or should I send him an email? What yeah. do you think is best? Yeah, send an email, please. Oh, I can take your number. How about we do both? Would that be cool? Would that be cool enough? Well, I'll send an yeah. email and I'll give you my contact information just so you have both. Perfect, both. Beautiful. So what's the what's Andy's email? No, the email is for the uh, company. I smile, Miami, I Gmail. Oh, gotcha. Makes sense. And then I'll just, in response to Andy, I'll put him in there referring to Andy, correct? Yeah, so it's good. It's good. It's the general information. Okay. And the email you said was I smile Doral? Yes, correct. At Gmail. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And your name, Cindy, I'm going to put you in the email as well just so that you know, I sp you know that I spoke to you. And then can you just write down my contact information to give it to Andy? Yes, it's 954-990-3516. Correct. And my name is Angel Angel, Angel Pichardo, yeah. Perfect. I got it. Thank Beautiful. You very much. I appreciate you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. You're welcome. Alrighty, bye bye. So, you know, we're calling doctors. Obviously they are busy, and that's why we asked for the new patient coordinator, not the doctor, right? So always, always, always you gotta think about it like this. The new patient coordinator, whoever's in the front desk, is the doctor's biggest influence. So when we're calling them, we want to pretend as if they're their best friend. So we don't want to bash them. We don't want to disregard them. We don't want to avoid them. We want to basically explain why we're calling and why we're asking for the new patient coordinator if they're giving us some resistance. So that way they understand. So, you know, usually they'll either tell you right there and then, you know, oh, we're not interested. We're at capacity or we're booked out until this month or whatever it is. So those are good problems to have. Obviously, we can't help. So the idea here, though, that we're calling those that, uh, you know, we know serve implant patients and then we're literally just calling to see if we can help. And if we, we can't, then we'll just move on to the next one, to their competitor, right? So that's two calls. You know, if you were to ask anyone else listening in these calls, they would tell you that those were pretty good calls, right? Because they both didn't hang up on me. They both actually gave me the, you know, the person in charge's, at least right now, the person in charge's information and their email. So... Um, you know, this is really the approach. This is what I do. And I do this, you know, for really 
for this is what I've been doing and it's been working really really well so I've scheduled multiple demos already I've gotten multiple conversations going with doctors um, and it's going really really great so I wanted to share the strategy that's been working with me the reason I love this so much is because it's much more effective than like cold call uh, cold emails and like messaging and things like that because it's straight away if you sit here and do this for two three hours you're gonna get a ton of appointments a ton of scheduled calls and you're gonna have us to send a ton of emails which is a good problem to have so um, you know, even if you allocate an hour a day to do this, you should be able to generate at least two to three appointments um, at any given time. So um, I've already shared the script with you guys. As you saw, here's this is my flow. Um, yeah, I didn't get hung up on, uh, but I wanted to put this out there because I had already recorded this already. But I just wanted to put this so you could see my flow, how I do it, and you know, just how relaxed I do things so that you know it, it's really not that difficult. People get stressed out and get all tense because they don't have that skill set. To talk to humans and to talk to people, unfortunately. So we live in an era where people are just stuck behind their phones and they forgot to talk to humans because that's, you know, how as cavemen we used to communicate, right? Not cell phones. So people forgot how to do that nowadays. So now they 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 sound really awkward on the phone. They stutter. They don't sound confident, and they just sound like a bunch of ding dongs, honestly. So uh, hopefully this helps. I'm gonna sh um, send this your way right now. Uh, and let me know if you need any other any other help. I can record another video, whatever needs to happen. Um, but yeah, if you share this with any of your guys doing calls or if you're doing this yourself, this is the exact strategy I've been doing. You just keep doing this over and over again and you will get appointments. You obviously follow, you know, follow up with the email. So like I said, that third outcome might be, yeah, let's schedule a demo, right? That might happen. That happened the last time I did this recording. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's schedule for Monday. Bam, scheduled her right there on my calendar, confirmed her information and said, hey, I'm going to be screen sharing. Uh, you know, this is going to be at this time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything, our 12-point implant on-demand system. And at that point, you'd be able to answer any questions. And if it makes sense and you like everything you see, you can decide whether you want to move forward with it or not at that point. So that's basically it. So that's outcome number three. So outcome number two, send me more info. No problem. I'll go ahead and send you your info. What's the owner's name? What's the email? Who do I refer to? What is your name? Right, so as much gathering as much data as possible, very fast. Right, these conversations, as you saw, didn't last more than three minutes each. So gathering as much information, so then you can put that all in the email, right, including who you spoke to at the front desk, who you're referring to, and you need to speak to, and then the information, and then the call to action, uh, and then they usually reply via email. You set an appointment, and you go through the demo that way. Outcome number three. They're interested, they don't need more information, they get the idea over the phone call, they understand what's going on. They're like, yeah, that sounds great, let's look into it, Let's. I would love to check it out so I can share with you know the doctors or whoever it is, um, and then you just schedule the appointment right there and then, and then you say, okay, great, I'm gonna send you a reminder, uh, You know, because usually you schedule it in Calendly, uh, and then with reminders, you know, you have your email and phone number, you're gonna have that information, you're gonna confirm that information, and then you're gonna book the appointment so that they get notifications. So um, you can have your calendar pulled up to the side screen if you want, where it's readily available. And then you know, obviously, uh, you know, you're gonna just gather the information that you need to input that in there, and then schedule the appointment. And you can even confirm the appointment and she that she received the notification of the appointment over that phone call. So you can say, hey, just schedule the appointment. Can you check your email to make sure you got it? Make sure you got the confirmation. Yeah, perfect, great, awesome. Well. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for taking the time to call. Uh, to take, uh, thank you for taking the time to take my call today. And we look forward to speaking to you on Monday at X time. So that's basically it. Hopefully that helps. And let me know if you have any questions.